The 64th edition of the IATA Dangerous Goods Regulations, which becomes effective the 1st of January 2023, incorporates all of the changes coming from the UN model regulations. It was developed by the United Nations Subcommittee of Experts on the Transport of Dangerous Goods. And those were considered for incorporation into the 2023-2024 edition of the ICAO Dangerous Goods Panel. And also, changes developed by the members of the IATA Dangerous Goods Board. And so for next year, we see changes to the list uh, of dangerous goods in Table 4.2. Uh, we've got a new UN number coming in, a new entry. Uh, we also see one entry being deleted and two of the current entries effectively combined. So we have extracts uh, aromatic liquid and extracts uh, flavouring liquid and those the UN subcommittee looked at and said, well, they're effectively identical. And so UN 1169 has been deleted and it'll only be UN 1197, which will simply become extracts liquid for flavor or aroma. The dangerous goods panel um, brought in from the UN all of the entries for articles containing dangerous goods NOS. So in division 2.1, 2.2 and so through to class nine. And at the time, the panel looked at those and wasn't sure just what these would apply to, uh, what dangerous goods could be in these articles, what sort of quantities, and so determined that for the time being, they would be forbidden, forbidden, but allowed under a special provision A2. So they could be transported on a cargo aircraft with the approval of the state of origin and the state of the operator. So we have two new special provisions one for articles containing non-flammable and non-toxic gases, and the other one for articles containing miscellaneous dangerous goods. Now these two have been limited, uh, so it's only non-flammable, non-toxic gases, and not liquefied, uh, and they have to be permitted on both passenger and cargo aircraft. And for the miscellaneous dangerous goods, it is only those that are environmentally hazardous. And with that, we'll have two new packing instructions and allow those to be moved without the need for an approval. And then of course, get the book and you'll see all of the detail in exactly what's changed throughout the regulations.